Hello then guys and girls, it's a bit of back here, i.e. the stuttering carper and we are back for another video. This one's going to be a short one guys, I'm just down the syndicate for a day session and just popped down, travelled very very light, well some people wouldn't say it's light but my, my standards of light it is very very light so yeah I got down here about 11 o'clock the rods are out I am I am down to two two rods at the minute because one of my bite alarms has packed up on me but I've messaged ND tackle and the customer service is absolutely second to none as always and they're sending me a replacement out now so I am waiting on that so yeah I'm down the syndicate just for a just for a day I uh, yeah I'll probably leave about eight o'clock eight o'clock this evening I have been down uh, a couple of a couple of uh, evenings this week yeah I came down for two two day sessions well two like afternoon slash evening sessions and I did manage to catch a fish on each each one which I will put up now all right guys popped out for a couple of hours tonight they're not bumping into this stunning little linear so yeah absolutely buzzing with that that was caught on a um 18 by 15 mil cc more pacific tuna topped off with just a little bit of a um match the hatch dumbbell wafter nice but i'll show you the other side quick quick wet i'm gonna get it back yeah, there it is absolutely buzzing with that stunning fish wicked get it red and get it slipped back So yeah, buzzing with that guys. All right, I'm gonna get that slip back. Catch up with you soon. So yeah, I had uh, I had the the mirror, which was sixteen twelve, and the common. I didn't wear and I f and I forgot my tripod at home so I couldn't I couldn't take any pictures with me with it but I just took some pictures with it on the mat so yeah there are the two I've had out I have been coming down and trickling baiting well, me travelling light this is my little so down there I've got my track of NXG 90 litre rucksack there and just a few little bits there so yeah nothing nothing doing this yet guys i've put i've put a bit of air out over over each spot for for midi x bombs so fingers crossed now i can wangle a couple out but yeah and um, also as well guys exciting times ahead i uh i've been using um avid exodus pro rare uh, rods 12 foot three and a half test curve we're paired with Avid AV8000 reels and I'm fire, I'm just having non-stop problems with them so within the next couple of weeks I'm going to be ordering my set of Shimano Ultegras CI4s 14,000s and a matching spot and marker reel and a, a decent set of rods so yeah exciting times ahead guys but yeah that's all I can give you for now but if you are down the bank tight lines, if you're not, get your ass down the bank. You know it makes sense. Catch up with in a bit. Well, well, well then guys and go. Come on, he's the stud one. Come on the lad. Absolutely buzzing. Buzzing, buzzing. You have to mark. So I thought I'd take this opportunity, show you the rigs and the bet I'm using. So one sec, just bear with me. Chap is wafting off. Get myself hook that out. Right, that's that. Get my rig. Here's the rig. It's a D rig constructed of uh, 
recorder, dark matter, and uh, yeah, an ash claw size four. It's just whipped on, just put that through, and the D there, and just blob that into place. A little micro hook ring swivel for attach attaching the bait to. So I'll get some, some bait attached to it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just bear with me. I'm a little bit shaky because I've not had any not had any food as yet. I'm just about to come come uh, back in the shed and make myself something to eat. A sausage wrap or something, but I was rudely interrupted. But I'm glad. Come on, that smashing it. And then these are the two. I'll show you. I'll put them on the actual needle and then show you. Got that one well shaky. I weren't expecting that. Completely out of the blue. I just just re re done that rod as well because I wasn't I wasn't really happy with it. So I just just re done it. Ten minutes later, ripped off. Glad I redone that now because they're obviously in the area and they're getting on the feed. It's a stunning day today. I'm gonna have to take this jumper off in a minute. I'm absolutely boiling up. But yeah, that's that. A bit of waft has snapped on me. So. Yeah, this other bit. And that. Get that through. And then we'll get this back on the spot. That one's resting in the net, it's a common. It's about 17 pound, I think. Somewhere there or thereabouts. That and that, that and that. As you can see, that's the hook bit. That's a, a 18 by 15 mil Pacific tuna that's been soaking in the, um, the smoked chorizo oil. And uh, half of a Pacific tuna dumbbell wafter just on the top of it. Lost onto the D rig. Absolutely buzzing with that, guys. Buzzing. We got a little blob down. Blob down. And there it is, guys. That is the rig. That just, that just literally caught me this fish that I'm going to get out in a minute. So, yeah, without further ado, guys, I'm going to get this rod back on the spot. And I will also hook on a uh, little PVA mesh bag of Pacific Tuna pellet that's been soaking in the mainline fish smart liquid. And that has been absolutely tearing it up for me recently. So if you're not on it, guys, get on it. Pacific Tuna for me. I am going to try the um, Pro Stim alongside it at some point, but I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. But yeah. Quick little slurp of my tea. I'm gonna get this one out and show you guys. If you're down the bank, tight lines. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. I'll be back in a minute with a nice chunk of the bank to show you. Come on! Well then, guys, here he is. Let's get him up quick. It's kicking off like mad. What an absolutely stunning dark common there. Right, yeah. Absolutely buzzing with that. Caught on the uh, Pacific Tuna. CC more absolutely tearing it up recently. This bit is loving it. So yeah, spin around, show the other side quick. Come on. Put up a hell of a scrap as well, this one did. It's cruising up and down the channel. Absolutely tearing it up. It kited into the margin on the left and kited right. But yeah, absolutely buzzing with that one. Get up on the scales. Do a quick way. Then we'll get a slip back. Buzzing. Wasn't really expecting to catch anything today, to be honest with you, but yeah, happy with that. The scales have already been zeroed. Sixteen pounds and four ounces. So yeah, buzzing with that. I'm gonna get a slip back, guys. If you're down the bank, tight lines. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. You know it makes sense. Come on! Alright anyway, guys, just rustled myself up a bit of bank side tucker. Two nice little sausage wraps. Nice and crispy. Beautiful. Let's give these a little try. I'm not gonna sit there and eat both whole things in front of ears, but <laughs> Oh my god! Did you do 
<laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the life out of me. He just said that. <laughs> a little bird has just come and flew and landed literally right on that, on that lock piece there. That scared the life out of me. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's food. A bit of cheese in that. Would have gone down a treat, I reckon. But yeah, definitely worth a try, mate. Sausage wraps. Down the right chat lines if you're not. Get your rest on the bank. You know, it makes sense. Catch up with you in a bit. Man, that man absolutely wounded. I can't believe I just got that live take then as well. Just, just literally lost it. Just down here. I literally realised I didn't have my landing net set up. Because I was walking back. Rookie, rookie, stupid mistake, really. My own fault, that. But yeah, gutted. Oh well, I'm going to get them rods back out now, guys. So if you're down the bank tight lines, if you're not, get your ass down the bank. You know what makes sense. Catch up with us in a bit. Well then guys, can you believe that? Just literally, I set up the um, camera on the tripod and I was just gonna do a little bit of filming on myself watching the water. I walked out, put my put my phone down there to, to where it was and then Rod screamed off. But yeah, that is that is not a mistake that I, I normally make that. I'm uh, a little bit disappointed and pissed off at myself really for that. It's a stupid rookie lucky mistake oh that's just cost me a fish just got it back on the spot they're on me <laughs> get one boy and that's a bit of a line of that i think but yeah yeah that's 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 not normally a mistake i make that guys to be honest with you but i've come down here light i haven't brought any any uh any of my own like landing net or un unhooking mat or anything with me i'm just using the ones that are down here and yeah i've only got one one net normally i've got i've got two set up in the swim so yeah rookie mistake and it's as you just said this has cost me a fish my own fault anyhow head up chin up keep keep focused and uh yeah rod went out absolutely perfect so fingers crossed I'll be back in a minute or very soon with another one. If you're down the bank tight lines, if you're not, get your ass down the bank, you know what makes sense. Catch up with you in a bit.
Right then, guys. Quick little update here. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, poor filming. Yeah, quick little update here. Yeah. It's gonna. Uh, I've just topped the spots up with two MIDI X bombs. So I'll show you the spots now. One spot is just literally that here. Just off the tip of that. About rod length and a half off. So I've got one rod there. And the other rod is about mid water. Out just there. Under my fingertip. So yeah. Go to spots. One on the margin. And obviously one in just off on water. But yeah. As I just said, just uh got you know, her going in my eye now. Yeah, just uh top the spots up. So yeah. Two MIDI X bombs over each, so fingers crossed now, guys. They're obviously out and about moving. I've just been watching some showing down the other side, multiple shores. So, yeah, the wind's hacking down this way now. So, fingers crossed they follow the wind and get on me. Get on the Pacific tuna, the carp. Come on, the boy, come on. That's about all I can give you for now, guys. So if you're down the bank, tight lines. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. You know, it makes sense to catch up with you, isn't it? Well then guys, here we go. I'm going to have to be quick because I think my rod's going to go off again. But yeah, left hand rod, the screened off. Landed this. Absolutely stunning, stunning comment. Come on boy, they're definitely on me now. 100%. One just jumped over the spot. Literally, I'm off. I'm off. Rod keeps getting lining, so it's going to go off any minute, I think. I think, I think I'm think i in for a big hit. I think I'm going to do this a bit more often, to be fair. But yeah, full of leeches, so I'm going to get them off. Spin around, show the other side. Get off. What's that? Let's spin around. Show you this side. I, I think this is the side I've not showed you yet. But, yeah. There it is. That's the other side. But I think, forgot now. God, spin around that way quick. There we go. Absolute cracker of a fish. Buzzing with that. Guessing around there. 16 mark, I'd say there are thereabouts. We'll get her up, see, and then we'll go slip back. Come on, absolutely buzzing with this. On a little cheeky dare session. £15 on the button. But it's do, it'll do, they're all welcome. Absolutely buzzing. If you're down the bank, guys, tight lines. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. You know what makes sense. Let's catch up with you in a bit. Well, hello. And good morning, guys and girls. It's Ben back here. I eat a stunning copper. And as you can see, I am fishing again. Uh, I came down yesterday. I had those two out, which you've just seen. And I thought I'd come down again today for the day. Weather conditions are completely different today. I got absolutely soaked walking over here blowing a gale as well but I'm just just about to go out in a minute the uh, rods are out I'm just about to go out in a minute and put uh, put some bait over each one I think I'm going to do six six midi x bombs over each spot so yeah but yeah that's 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 the story guys it's where I am it's what I'm up to and yeah back down for another day session traveling light so he says absolute nightmare getting over here with a barrow wheels absolutely caked in mud go through about 300 mil of sloppy mud and cow shit not the greatest of times but hey -ho, I'm here now I'm here for for the day and I will be meeting the uh, chap later who's uh, getting my van fixed so I'm just waiting for the phone call and then I'll go meet him over at the farm and get that sorted. But yeah, that's all I can give you for now guys. So if you are down the bank, then tight lines. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. You know it makes sense. Catch up with you in a bit.
Well then guys, we're in. Lovely, lovely little common here. Let's get up. There it is. That's a cracker, you can put any boss up there. But yeah, this one was caught on a 15 by 18 mil Pacific tuna dumbbell topped off with um, half a uh, Pacific tuna dumbbell wafter. So both both cut length ways doing the do as usual. Don't know how much of this you're gonna hear because it's blowing an absolute gale. But yeah, an absolute belt to that is. Say about 15 pound mark and there it is there's the other side guys absolute little belter buzzing these uh day sessions seem to be paying off we're down through the day i wouldn't normally do that because i'm a long stay angler normally so yeah pretty buzzing with the results to be honest i'll get her up my scales have been zeroed zeroed them then £15. £15 on the button. So, yeah. Still welcome. Still buzzing with it. If you're down the bank, guys, tight lines. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. You know it makes sense. Well, he's in again. Got a lovely two tone mirror this time. Probably about the same weight, but look at that. Absolute stunning colours. Beautiful fish, that one. It's going to be an absolute belter when it's put on a few pounds. But yeah, stunning. Look at the colours on it. Complete two tone. Some nice apple slices towards the bottom. This one was caught on a 18 by 15 mil CC more Pacific tuna bottom bait dumbbell. Topped off with a half a NS uh, one yellow dumbbell wafter this time. But yeah, there's the other side, guys. Come on! Absolutely loving it. What a stunner that is. Like I said, not the biggest fish in the world, but does it matter when they look like that? Get her up. Go quick way. And I'm going to slip back because it just started raining. £13. £13 on the bottom, so yeah. If you're down the bank, guys, tight lines. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. You know it makes sense. Catch up these in a bit. Well, then, guys, here's fish number three for this session. Lovely, scaly one. Look at that. Absolutely buzzing. This one, again, with a yellow. So I've swapped both now over onto yellows. Hopefully I'll get some more 15 by 18 mil CC more Pacific tuna, bottom bit dumbbell topped off with a half a yellow NS1 dumbbell wafter cut length ways. Ripping it up with a little PVA mesh bag, Pacific tuna pellet in, soaked in the hot truck uh, smoked tree salt oil. So yeah, I'll show you this on the side quick. There it is. That's the other side. Absolute scaly, scaly banger. So yeah, buzzing with that. Give it a quick wet, and then we're gonna slip back. My guess is probably about the same. Fourteen pound or two, something like that. Fourteen pound. start getting into some of the some of the bigger ones i want a 20 now but yeah that'll do nice scaly bang if you're down the bank guys tight lines if you're not get your ass down the bank you know it makes sense catch up these in a bit
guys. There's another one. Excuse the green light. The, the bright light's just too bright in my face. But there we go. Have a, a lovely common there. Quick it back. Probably about the 15 pound mark. You can see it's getting dark now. Beat me up on the mat this one. £16. So yeah, I'm surprising with that biggest one so far. Right, gonna get this slip back guys. So if you're down the bank tight lines, if you're not get your ass down the bank, if you're not better sense to catch up these in a bit. Alright then guys, up there time. It's now uh, half past seven. So I'm gonna give it another hour till half past eight. Fingers crossed I can get get that 20 out. But I think this is basically going to be the last time uh, I'm going to be fishing now for a couple of weeks. So, yeah, this will be, be my last video for two weeks now, unfortunately, guys. So, apologies for that. But I'll be back in two weeks' time for a nice long session and hopefully have my new rods on my new reels. So yes, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, just open and praying. There should still be plenty of bait out there. I've filled it in a little bit, to be fair, today. So yeah, just hoping. Now for one more, one more 20. It'd be beautiful just to finish it off with. But if not, don't matter. Just still come down and Landed a few, a few fish. Just got a bend in the rod. Enjoyed my time here, so that's all that matters, isn't it? But yeah, both rods have been redone. Probably about ten minutes ago, fifteen minutes ago. After that fish, refresh both rod, rods with fresh rigs, fresh baits, and. Uh, PVA mesh bag with the CC more Pacific tuna sorts in hot treats or smoked treats oil. But yeah, that's all I can give you for now, guys. So, yeah, if you are down the bank, tight line. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. You're not making sense. Hopefully, catch all your suit. Well, then, guys, it's up there time. It's, it's that time for me, unfortunately. It's now about 25 past. So, I'm going to bring the rods in and call it a day here. So, but yeah. I don't think these day sessions have gone too bad really. I've quite uh, quite um, enjoyed coming down and doing them. Save myself four trips when I'm coming down for longer. Right, but it's just one trip, nice and light. But yeah, I've uh, wangled a few out. Four fish today, if I remember rightly. Three fish yesterday, two, two, one the day before and one the day before. So yeah. Not, not been too bad uh, let us know in the comments guys if you've enjoyed watching sessions like this rather than long long stair sessions and if you guys enjoy the content and that then let us know and I'll do some more of them also if you can it would be much appreciated if you can do the do's on, on my socials I am the stuttering carper on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube so if you can like follow and subscribe it will be much appreciated any it, like, any comments are welcome as always do you know yeah i think that is going to be it now for me so there's one thing left to say is thank you very much for watching thank you all very much for the support 
If you are down the bank, tight lines. If you're not, get your ass down the bank. I shall catch up with you on my next session. Tight lines all. Bye now.